again to my channel and today I have this beautiful makeup look for all of you guys who enjoy the colorful makeup looks. Uh, right now at my age I feel like I love or enjoy more the natural warm soft uh, makeup looks but I know a lot of you uh, prefer you know more colorful stuff. So this makeup look has a pop of color. Uh, the eyes are very very simple to do. Uh, Honestly, I just used two eyeshadows and that's it. Uh, but I have to say that I did work very well my foundation, concealer, highlighting, contour, because even though my eyes are very simple, I wanted the rest of my face to look very flawless and very pretty. So if you guys wanna see how you guys can achieve something similar to this, just sit there and keep watching. So let's get started my loves and I'm gonna start by using this primer uh, by Smashbox and I usually don't use primers but this primer is like uh, water based so it's perfect because I think that it feels really really good on my skin. So I'm gonna be using it today and let me tell you that I did really like it. Uh, the foundation that I'm gonna be using today is um, Too Faced Born This Way. I'm gonna leave uh, the links down below to all the products that I'm using on this video in case you guys you know don't know which product I'm using or don't understand what I'm saying, you can check the description box for all the information on the products. I'm using this uh, Soiva uh, buffer brush. This is the 104, I believe. And this is the perfect brush to apply foundation. I love it. I'm gonna continue with the concealer. And this is my first time using this concealer from Makeup Forever. And I thought it was gonna be a little bit more creamy, but it's, um, it's not as creamy as I thought, but it has a great coverage. I'm gonna be using it in the areas that I wanna bring out more and also under my eyes because I don't want you know uh, to look tired I want to look more awake so I want to cover the dark circles I'm gonna be blending out uh, this uh, concealer with the blending uh, sponge the beauty blender and this is my favorite tool to blend out products I don't know about you guys but the blending the beauty blender is like a must-have if you don't have a beauty blender I recommend you to get one because this will make the job of blending foundation concealers and blah 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 more easier and it's not it's not very expensive and you can use it for a long time so if you don't have a beauty blender I recommend you to get one now I'm gonna contour my face with this uh, uh, concealer by Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm gonna be using it on my forehead and on the on the cheeks so um, yeah just blend it out with a big brush like I'm doing right now and usually I just do uh, the forehead and the cheeks. Sometimes I do uh, my nose, I like I like to contour my nose sometimes. So I will be doing that today. Make sure that you blend out very well. You don't want harsh lines to be noticeable on your makeup. Um, whatever brush you prefer to use, go ahead. Just make sure to blend out uh, those lines. I'm gonna be putting a little bit of concealer under my chin also. And with a smaller brush, I'm, I'm gonna be contouring my nose. I'm gonna be applying a little bit on the sides. And then uh, with a clean brush, I'm gonna be blending it uh, out, making sure that there's no harsh lines. I mean, I want it to be noticeable, but not super noticeable. <laughs> And now again with the foundation brush, I'm gonna be blending uh, all the concealers, foundations all together so there is no harsh line and it looks pretty and nice. And I'm gonna continue with the eyebrows. For this look, I want my eyebrows to look very natural. And at this moment, I have two favorite products and both are from Anastasia. I love the pomade and I also love this pencil. But the difference between the pomade and the pencil is that the pomade makes your eyebrows more dramatic. And today, I want my eyebrows to look more natural as you can see the look that this pencil gives the eyebrows it's very very nice very pretty i love it i recommend this pencil uh i mean i, I love how it looks so today i'm gonna be using this and now it's time to set our concealer and I'm gonna be using this uh, loose translucent powder by Laura Messier. I love this uh, loose powder. I've been using it for a while to be honest with you. I think I got it at IMATS last year and I mean I'm running out of it but I love it. I think I'm gonna buy it again because I just like the way it feels on the skin. It doesn't feel very heavy. So I'm gonna be using this to set my concealer. 
And then I'm gonna be using this Benane uh, loose powder. It has a little bit of color, and I'm gonna be using it to set my foundation. Um, for the areas that I use the dark concealer, I'm gonna be using this bronzer by Benefit. Uh, it's called Hula, and this I'm gonna be using on the areas that I, uh, you know, use a dark concealer, my forehead and the cheeks, and also a little bit maybe under my chin, and also the sides of my nose. Okay, and now it's turn for the blush. I'm gonna be using this one by MAC. I believe it's uh, it's called Soda Pop. And it's a very uh, light uh, color uh, blush. It's It has like a pinkish uh, coral uh, tone to it, and I love it. I just think it's gonna go very well with the eye makeup. You will see right now. And for highlighter today, I'm gonna be using this one by Becca. This is the one Jacqueline Hill did in collaboration with them, Champagne Pop. And I'm gonna be using it in the areas that I wanna highlight, like the bridge of my nose, my, a little bit on my forehead, my cheekbones, and on the cupid bow. This is a really nice highlighter. If you don't have it, you have to have it. <laughs> now it's time to curl our, our lashes. And you can use, you know, the lash curler or you can use a spoon. As many of you know, I love to use a spoon to curl my lashes because they just look so pretty and they last longer curled. So now we're going to be using this palette. Uh, this is a forever a makeup forever a palette. And I'm going to be using the turquoise color. I'm going to be wetting my brush a little bit to make the pigment of this um, eyeshadow more strong and I'm gonna be placing it in the inner corner of my eye very simple just in the inner corner of my eye and I'm gonna be doing the same in the outer corner of my eye this is so simple so simple but it looks so pretty honestly when I finished this look I was like oh my god I can't believe it was so simple <laughs> And with the bronzer that we use today, I'm just going to apply a little bit under my lower lash line. And that's pretty much it. Now with, uh, with a fluffy brush, you're just going to blend out the edges of the eyeshadow. And that's it. It's so simple. Now it's time to apply falsies. I think it's very important for this makeup look to apply false lashes. Because the eye makeup is, is um, so simple that if you apply false lashes, it's just going to make a big difference on the, on the look. So if you want, that I recommend, go ahead and apply false lashes. Okay, and after applying our false lashes, we're going to be applying mascara. This is by Tarte. Uh, go ahead and use your favorite mascara. And the last part of this makeup look, it's the lipstick. I'm going to be using this one by LA Girl. This is a very natural, soft color. I think that it goes very well with this makeup look. I want the eyes to have uh, the most attention on this makeup. That's why I choose a very soft color. But if you guys want something more colorful, go ahead and put it on. I'm pretty sure that it's going to look amazing as well. And this is it. This is the makeup for today. Remember to leave me your thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and also remember that i'm gonna be uh, listing the products down below on the description box so don't forget to check that out I hope you guys enjoy it and if you did remember you can leave me your thumbs up and remember you can subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on all the videos that I will be uploading during the week also let me remind you I have a vlog channel it's a Spanglish vlog channel in case you want to know a little bit more about my life and I have social media you can find me there on Facebook Instagram Twitter snapchat you now uh, as makeup by JH so this is it I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day or night wherever you are at right now and I'll see you on my next video. Mwah. Ciao!